I'm Jasmine, and you're tuned in to Math Notes. You wouldn't try to scoop ice cream with a stapler or flip burgers with a bar of soap, would you? Well, different graphs have different uses, too. Here's Fright Club to tell you all about it. Let's say you want to see how something is divided. Like the budget for a party you've been hoping to throw. Food, drinks, and cups. Karaoke and such. How your budget breaks down is what you're wanting to know. And how things are broken down is what a circle graph shows. The right graph is the right tool for the job that you're trying to do. The job that you're trying to do. Let's say you want to make comparisons of different things. Like the different types of creatures at your Halloween fling You had four vampires, three zombies, two witches and one ghost Who tried to hunt the karaoke machine And for comparing your data, it's a bar graph you need The right graph is the right tool For the job that you're trying to do The job that you're trying to do Line graphs are good for showing change over time For example, the attendance at the party you threw By 8 o'clock, only 3 monsters had arrived But more monsters showed up before the party was through Line graphs place change in a very clear view The right graph is the right tool for the job that you're trying to do The job that you're trying to do Thanks for tuning in to Math Notes.